Hi, I'm uh, Emily Anthes. I'm a science writer. My new book is called Frankenstein's Cat, Cuddling Up to Biotech's Brave New Beasts. And I've written for all sorts of publications, New York Times, Wired, BBC, Psychology Today, etc. We're in the science section of Politics and Prose right now. I'm going to show you a couple books that are my favorites and some I think you should know about. So this is uh, Tom's River. It's actually hot off the press. Uh, just came out. I admit I have not read it myself, but I know Dan and he's a wonderful writer. This book has been getting rave reviews. It tells the story of Tom's River, New Jersey and a cluster of childhood cancer cases there. And it's sort of a detective tale about what's causing these cancer cases and can scientists figure it out and, and who's responsible. So this is one of the absolute classics in science writing, Lewis Thomas' Lives of a Cell. This was the first book assigned to me in grad school in science writing, and he just has a gift. He explains little facts about the natural world in the most beautiful way you can imagine. He's a classic essayist and an amazing writer. So you might know the uh, name Oliver Sacks, he's written a lot of things. Uh, Anthropologist on Mars, one of his older books, it's probably my favorite. It's something I read in high school and, and one of the books that inspired me to pursue science writing. The stories he tells and the way he communicates about the human condition through science is, is, was really inspiring to me. Then there is uh, Surely You're Joking, Mr. Feynman, uh, by Richard Feynman, the world's least boring physicist, uh, the late Richard Feynman, I should say. Uh, this memoir is full of amazing tales. Uh, Richard Feynman had a crazy life. He cracked safes at Los Alamos. He learned how to drink tea at Princeton. And this is full of uh, these tales and others.